All right, when the last person has seated, we will be starting our opening presentation. Uh, first of all, on behalf of all the organizers of the graduate school event, I would like to wish you a very warm welcome. And um, yeah, my name is Corinne. I will tell a bit more about myself later, but I will be the one hosting this presentation. I will take you to the pra uh, practicalities and I will introduce our speakers of today. But first, I guess you would like to know what we're going to do today. Uh, and this is our program. So now we have our introduction uh, yeah, presentation, but you can also visit our information market. It's going to be the whole evening uh, and afternoon, so you will have plenty of time to visit all the stands that you would like. Uh, we also have master's presentations and PDN and PhD presentations. We have department tours. And we have uh, a presentation for the HBO students who have come here today. And um, yeah, afterwards we have more master's presentations, so there's no opportunity for you to miss what you would like to see. All right, uh, this introduction will be comprised as follows. I will tell you something quickly. Our wonderful dean uh, will tell you everything you need to know about the graduate school and several elements of the graduate school will be presented by my lovely colleagues on the right. Uh, afterwards, I will share some final practicalities with you. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, this is also live streamed. So, um, yeah, for the people watching at home, uh, enjoy the ride. First, uh, me. My name is Corinne. As you can see, I love pie. Uh, it's, it's a Hema Slagroomtaart. It's not product placement. But besides uh, loving pie, I also love studying at TUE. I did my bachelor's degree in medical sciences and technology. I followed a pre-master in innovation ma management afterwards. And now I have landed on the place where I want to be, in a master in innovation management. Um, what am I doing in this master program and why do I think this is a very nice opportunity for you as well? All masters are very broad. You have many electives that you can choose in order to specialize and engineer your course in a way that you would like. So for me, it's uh, with electives in operations management, in marketing, system dynamics. Um, and I will also be doing an international semester uh, in September, and afterwards I will be doing an internship at a company. And this is the case for most of the masters here. So it's a really nice blend of all kinds of activities and learning opportunities. We also have a very vivid student life, but more about that can also be asked at the stands, the people uh, representing our studies there. But for me, I, what I like most is Stratum Science, our uh, bar street. Uh, where something is always happening uh, with the study associations, the student associations, but also the sports clubs and the student teams, but more about the student teams will follow as well. Um, so yeah, I hope that today uh, you will also get a little bit of an experience about our TU and about what it can offer for you.
yeah, so this movie has uh, already shown you a lot of stuff that's going on here at the TUE, but where you have a, uh, why you are here is actually to know more about the graduate school. So I would like to introduce Professor Dr. Paul Koenraad, Dean of the Graduate School, who will tell you all the ins and outs that you need to know for today. Thank you very much. That's a very honorable task you give me, but <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot fulfill that task. Welcome, a very well, warm welcome to this graduate school event. And just for me as information, who has come new to the TUE? So who did not study here yet? That's quite a lot. I think you have come to a good university. Everybody will say it's the best in the world, and of course I think that, but I think it's a very good university that you have come to. A university where research and education are really excellent and connected. In your master program, if you come for that, you will be able to experience also how our scientists actually also are very good teachers and can tell you about the latest developments in the world. I think that makes it very interesting. But what's especially very special is, of course, our location in the Brainport area. Our connection to the local industry is really within our DNA. So in your education, if you want to dive into that, there are plenty of options. And already we heard a lot of yeah, information, actually, in the, the, the introduction. Not that I want to repeat all of that, but I think you're here at the graduate school event to inform yourself. And I think use that opportunity. You will see that we have many, many programs to choose from. But in these programs, you also have a lot of choice to really find out what suits you. And I really want to stimulate you to think about your own path through our educational program. Find the way that suits you best and really prepare yourself for your career that you have in your mind that you would try to realize. And that's something that should start on day one here. So really be active, take control of your education. You can do it here, you have the opportunity, and use that. A few more words about the graduate school, and now there would be a few slides. I'm going to skip these two, the pictures. Just to give you a bit more of background, the graduate school consists of the master programs, um, but in order to enter the master program, sometimes you have to follow a pre-master program, so we also offer that. Today you can inform yourself about the various pre-master programs that we have, the master programs, and if after two years you think you still want to learn more and to, uh, um, to develop yourself further within the graduate school, we offer also the opportunity to become a PDN, a professional doctorate in engineering, Actually, this is an old slide, because starting of 1st of September, the PDN title will change into an engineering doctorate title. And um, that's a training of two years in which you become a system engineer. So you learn to think about complex situations, complex systems, and how to solve problems in that. And often in a real context of a real problem that is present in the industry. And if your interest is more into science, then you can go into a PhD, and that will take you four years, and then you can call yourself doctor after that. All of these elements are part of the graduate school. We try to connect them as much as possible. We like to see new people. We like to see people going through the whole program. And um, I just invite you again to talk with all the peoples that are here, and they will show you how proud they are about this university and also what we can offer dedicated for you. And with that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Yes, thank you a lot for this clear explanation. <laughs> Afterwards, we have another nice intermezzo. It started off with uh, my father and I, I guess I was about eight. He decided one day that he wanted to figure out how HTML works. So uh, we were there on the internet and then with our notebooks and trying to write down the important things and trying to figure it out for ourselves. I'm Aishwarya Suresh and I did a bachelor's in software science in the TUE and now I'm doing a master's in computer science and engineering. Since I was 13 years old, I got in touch with programming, coding, and since that moment, that was always uh, f fascinating to me. I am Rutger Bakker. I started with a Bachelor in Industrial Engineering. Uh, after that, I did a Master Operations Management and Logistics. 
and finally I did a PDN Industrial Engineering. I grew up in Belgrade and there there is the Nikola Tesla Museum and I became familiar with his idea to provide the world with unlimited energy. I'm Ivana Abramovic and I'm currently in the PhD program at the Fusion Group at the Eindhoven University of Technology. Especially coming from India, I find that the professors are so much more accessible. I feel like you could drop in at any minute, knock on their door, and they will give you all the help you need. There are so many activities uh, organized by different student associations from different departments of the university. TU Eindhoven is, uh, if you compare it to other universities in the Netherlands, relatively small, so you're less a number. I would definitely recommend to do the PDN. It's not only that you get in touch with professors who are top of the class in their field, you get uh, personal guidance, but it's also that you learn uh, the professional uh, way of working. There's always so much opportunity for you here. The teachers are very welcoming. The, everyone here is so friendly and so helpful that it's a great place to study at. If you're looking for a community that is going to really push you to your boundaries, I think this, this is the place for you. It is a really, really diverse master. So within there, you can choose which stream you want to do specifically. So what for me personally is the most exciting thing about Fusion is if we solve it, if we make it work, and we have a machine that is producing that energy, uh, that is the solution to the world energy problem. After my master's, I still felt that I wasn't completely done learning. So I wanted to get a little bit deeper into the matter, so really learning about a field that is already interesting, where you can apply it and where it is needed. That's where everything comes together, and that's really nice. All right. I hope that these testimonials have sparked your interest, so please make sure that you talk to the persons that are standing there waiting for you at the stand, so you can experience it for yourselves. Um, but first, before we do that, I would like to invite uh, Iona. She will start uh, presenting one of the graduate school elements. So please, Jona, take the stage. Here, you yes, have the clicker. Thank you. So besides studying, you're also going to work on your personal development at the TUI. And therefore, we, there are we. Um, we are TUI Curriculum and Skills Lab. We are part of my future that organize a lot of career development uh, possibilities for you. So Skills Lab is there for your self-guided learning. Do you want to become better in presentation, teamwork, stuff like that? Um, we can help you with that. We have workshops as well. And um, that's, those workshops we offer are in academic writing, presentation, but also in well-being and creativity, just be, to become a better person besides only studying in your field. Uh, for Career Academy, we have for your professional development, so we um, organize workshops as well. And we do your CV checks, we do LinkedIn checks, just to make sure that when you go on the job market, you are fully prepared. Uh, the workshops we do are surviving the work floor, but also self-assessment, personal branding. Who are you? What do you find most interesting in the field you're working with uh, to make sure that you find a job that uh, brings the best in you? Um, so we do also cover letter and CV checks, but that's more interesting for you if you're going to study here. And we have some career coaching to make sure that when you finish your studies, you are uh, fully prepared uh, for your interviews and make sure that you become the best version of yourself. We are also on the stand so you can ask more questions. And that's shortly what we do. And now I'm going to give the attention to Petri. Yeah, thank you, Iona. Uh, hi, I'm Petri van der Vorst. I'm of the International Office of TUE, and I'm mostly concerned with the outgoing mobility of students, the so-called international experience. The aim of the graduate school is that uh, the majority of all TUE graduates have an international experience somewhere during their academic education. And with an international experience, we mean an exchange, a research project, an internship abroad of at least 15 credits and a duration of at least three months. Well, the international experience is an important asset for developing your 21st century engineer skills, 
because um, you improve your intercultural uh, communication skills by working in an international environment with people from uh, all over the world. It's also good for your personal development and your language skills. And next to that, it's also an academic challenge because you learn to approach academic problems from a different perspective. Um, the TUE has many exchange agreements with excellent universities all over the world, also within the Erasmus program and the Eurotech program. Um, it is also possible to do a research project or internship abroad via the contacts of your academic staff. Um, most students of TUE go abroad in the fourth quartile or the third semester of their studies, but this completely depends on the structure of the master program. Now, to help you, uh, every department has an international office and they can explain you more about the procedures for going abroad, tell you more about exchange possibilities and how to apply and arrange for an international experience. Uh, we will help you also with uh, finding grants and scholarships and insurance and there are things you have to arrange yourselves like visa, work permits, uh, accommodation abroad and uh, the travel arrangements. Well, for more information, you can check our website. You can find experience reports of students who have been abroad before. And if you'd like to know more, you can find me in uh, the auditorium as well. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Esther, and I'm the personal leadership teacher for the Honors Academy. And last week, I was talking to one of our students who just graduated. He did his final presentation. And in that presentation, he said, Esther, this is the best course that I have done at this university. Because it made me realize that I am, I am in charge of my future. And I learned, understood that I can base my choices on what I really love instead of what I really fear. And we hear that more often. And we hear that more often because this course is about you. And what's better than exploring what you love, exploring what you're really good at, and making that happen. That's what the Honors Program is all about. The Honors Program is an 18 months program that you do on top of your regular master program. And you apply for that. And you have an interview and you're selected. And when you're in, you're gonna start with me and I'm gonna guide you through an extensive personal leadership program in which we explore what it is that you love, what is it that you're good at naturally, and how you can put that into practice by doing what you do best. And actually that's what you're going to do in the rest of those 18 months. Because you're gonna do a professional development project that you design. And it can be anything from an internship at your favorite company to research in your ideal research group. You can set up your own business, you can do extra courses, also outside your study program or the field of your studies. Or you can make a combination of all of that is whatever you want. And my role and the role of this really dedicated team is to help you succeed and to learn what it is that you're really interested in. So of course, it's the best course in the university because it's about you. Now, does that sound interesting and inspirational? Then come to see us at the stand of the honors program in the auditorium. And then um, I hope that we see each other in September at the best course, or one of the best courses in this university. Thanks a lot. From the dream to demo to impact. That is what I would like you to keep in mind during this very short presentation. Hi, I'm Laura and I work at Innovation Space. And Innovation Space is the place where we educate the engineers of the future. 
where you learn more than just pure technological expertise you're going to learn in your master courses. Where you work in interdisciplinary teams in so-called challenge-based learning. And you work in open-ended projects together with other students and you can really make an impact in the world because you directly work with industry and partners. So, you can also actually really uh, inno innovate yourself and join in entrepreneurship things. So what do our courses actually include? Our courses consist of a, of a few characteristics. Behind on the screen you see a little, uh, little illustration of what our place matrix looks like where innovation space is hosted and where we host our courses, which are, as I said, interdisciplinary. You learn by doing, and you have, you have open-ended challenges where you work in together with other students. So what's actually an open-ended challenge? It means that you work on a challenge from industry, from a research institute, a municipality, or any other partner, for example, an NGO, and you work on a challenge that is not predefined beforehand. So it means you actually have to do a lot of creative thinking and sit down with the team to come for a solution and work on it for a full semester. So you're super close in collaboration with industry or with another partner, which is really unique, which is really something we can offer you. And besides, you get some coaching uh, by experts that we have, some experts in the field, which will really coach you through the process and also help you develop some soft skills besides that you learn really a lot about the field of expertise. But now you might think like, is education all you have to offer? Because that might be a bit boring. Uh, no, of course not. We host more than 50 student teams in innovation space. Things, think about teams like, that work on intelligent lighting, energy transition, internet of things, uh, smart cities, sustainable housing, etc., etc. Um, we host them in our building, so we give them housing if needed. We also have another place on, un on campus for that. But we also coach them and we give them facilities like some heavy assembly workshops where they can do a lot of prototyping. So I actually always like to think of innovation space as a place where it's just an open community where you have lots and lots of opportunities. And very importantly, I think, is that it's failure proof. So you can really take the, 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 all the space to innovate and really get from your dream to your demo to impact. And that's why I think you should come visit us at our, at our tour at a quarter past five in Matrix, which is just right across the pond. We'll explain it later. Um, or just come by our stand, which is just here, outside. Thank you. Yes. Let's give one more big hand for all of my lovely colleagues here. I hope they really made you passionate or at least like curious about all the elements that you can do and that you can use for your personal development besides your studies. Um, but yeah, well, you get a chance to explore all of that later. Uh, but for now, we have some uh, practicalities. Uh, all presentations for the masters will be in this building, except for the ones mentioned on this slide. Um, if you have registered for one of these uh, presentations, please gather in the hall before Metaforum building. Uh, basically, it's when you cross this building, just go straight, go outside, and you will see like a covered hall, and there will be people there to take you to the respective buildings. Also, for the innovation space tour, you have to be in Matrix, as Lauren explained. So, um, if you cannot find it, please talk to someone in a red t-shirt with TUE on it, and they will be happily uh, guiding you to your right destination. 
All right. Um, for the presentations here in this building, rooms one up until eight are down the stairs. Rooms nine up until 16 are up the stairs. Um, indications for uh, for the room numbers will be given on the uh, on the stairs, but also on the doors of the rooms themselves. All right. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Please enjoy yourselves and hopefully find the study of your dreams. <laughs>